Then yet you treat him with sarcasm. So this is your opinion of me. Thank you for explaining so fully. Perhaps these offences might have been overlooked had not your pride been hurt my by my pride. honesty and admitting scruples about our relationship. Could you expect me to rejoice in the inferiority of your circumstances? And those are the words of a gentleman. From the first moment I met you, your arrogance and conceit, your selfish disdain for the feelings of others, made me realise that you were the last man in the world I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. Forgive me, madam, for taking up so much of your time. Yes, she was here. How can I ever make amends for such behavior? After what you have done for Lydia, and I suspect for Jane also, it is I who should be making amends. You must know. Surely you must know. It was all for you. You are too generous to travel with me. I believe you spoke with my aunt last night and it has taught me to hope, as I had scarcely allowed myself before. If your feelings are still what they were last April, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes have not changed. But one word from you will silence me forever. If, however, your feelings have changed, I would have to tell you. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love and love and love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. Your hands are cold. 